Here's all the basics you need to know about lighting in Blender under 6 minutes. To learn effectively, I like breaking things down into three categories, tools, concepts, and applications. Tools are the types of lights and how you can modify them in Blender. Concepts are the principles behind how light interacts with your scene, things like size, shape, and color. Applications are the practical techniques you use to combine the tools and concepts for specific results. Blender gives you six main ways to light your scenes and each has its strengths. Point light. Point lights emit light equally in all directions from a single point. You can adjust the radius to soften shadows, making it more realistic. Best for light bulbs or candles, anything small and localized. Sunlight. Sunlight works like an infinite light source, lighting everything evenly based on its rotation. To soften the shadows, increase the angular diameter, which mimics atmospheric diffusion. Best for outdoor scenes or directional lighting like sunlight or moonlight. Spotlight. Spotlights emit light in a cone. You can adjust the radius to soften all shadows, the blend slider to control how soft the cone's edges are, and the spot size to change the width of the cone. Best for focus lighting like flashlights or car headlights. Area light. Area lights emit light from a rectangular or elliptical surface. Use the spread value to control how focused or diffused the light is. Best for windows, TV screens, or broad diffuse lighting. Mesh lighting. Any object can be turned into a light by adding an emissive shader. Best for creative lighting, like neon signs or glowing objects. World lighting. World lighting is great for ambient illumination. By connecting an AGRI, you can create realistic reflections and natural lighting across your scene. Best for quick setups and realistic outdoor or indoor lighting. Blender also has some extra tools to enhance your light. Lighting, IES textures. These simulate the real world patterns of artificial lights. To use them, toggle use nodes on a point, spot, or area light, add an IES texture node, load an IES file, and connect it to the light's strength input, gobos. These project patterns by placing a texture or cutout in front of a light. Great for simulating shadows from blinds or tree leaves. Volumetrics. Add a principal volume shader to an object, like a cube surrounding your scene, to create effects like fog, mist, god rays, or underwater effects. Light and shadow linking. Control which objects are affected by a light by using collections for light linking and shadow linking under the shading tab of the light. Drag objects into the collection and include or exclude them to customize the lighting and shadowing of specific objects. Lighting can completely transform a scene and mastering the basics is key. When I was starting out, I learned that hands-on practical lessons made all the difference. That's why I'm excited to share that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you can think of a skill, chances are you'll find a course on it on Skillshare. One of my favorites is by my friend Derek Elliott. His course Elevate Your 3D Designs, Lighting and materials in Blender is perfect for beginners. Derek walks you through lighting tools and material setups step by step and it's super easy to follow. Plus, Skillshare has courses on everything from animation and rendering to lighting for films and cinematics. As part of this collaboration, Skillshare is offering a free one month trial to the first 500 people who click my link in the description. Whether you're just starting out or looking to expand your skill set, check out Derek's course or explore others. And once you've tried it, come back here to refresh your skills and take your lighting even further. Let's talk about the concepts of lighting, the principles that help you control mood, composition, and storytelling in your scene. Placement and power. The position, angle, and brightness of your light define how your subject is perceived. Light from above mimics sunlight or overhead lamps. Side or backlighting emphasizes form and texture. Lighting from below creates eerie or dramatic effects. High intensity lights make your subject the focal point. Low intensity lights create subtle or moody atmospheres. Distance and relative size. Light behaves differently depending on its distance and size. According to the inverse square law, doubling the distance of a light reduces its intensity to one quarter. From the subject's perspective, a farther light also appears smaller and dimmer. If you increase the light's size and intensity proportionally with distance, it looks the same as before. Smaller relative size creates sharp shadows and dramatic lighting. Larger relative size gives soft, diffuse shadows for a natural look. Shape. The shape of your light source affects reflections and highlights. A rectangular light creates elongated highlights, great for windows. A round or custom shaped light offers more creative control. Color or temperature. Light color impacts the tone of your scene. Warm colors like orange or yellow feel cozy and inviting. Cool colors like blue or green evoke calmness, mystery, or tension. You can set the light's color in Blender manually or use a black body node for accurate warm and cool tones. Contrast. Contrast is a balance between light and shadow. High contrast emphasizes dramatic difference great for intense storytelling or focus. Low contrast softens transitions, creating harmony for calm or natural scenes. Use contrast to guide the viewer's eye and enhance depth in your composition. These concepts are interconnected. Placement, intensity, size, and color all influence each other and your final result. Here are some common temperature and power values that you can copy for your projects. Let's now discuss some basic lighting techniques and variations of them throughout history. 
First, there are three types of lights to consider. Unmotivated lighting refers to artistic lighting without a visible source in the scene. Motivated lighting mimics a believable light source even if it's off screen. Practical lighting refers to visible lights within the scene like lamps or candles that ground the shot in reality. Now here are some foundational lighting techniques. Three point lighting, the most common setup to illuminate a subject clearly while adding proper depth. Key light, main light source placed at an angle to highlight the subject. Fill light, softer secondary light to reduce harsh shadows. Rim hair or backlight behind the subject to create an outline or glow separating it from the background variations high key lighting even bright lighting for cheerful moods low key lighting dim high contrast lighting for dramatic storytelling split lighting key light at 90 degree leaving half the subject in shadow for tension or impact rembrandt lighting creates a signature triangle of light on the shadowed side of the face used for cinematic or emotional portrait shots butterfly lighting produces flattering shadows under the nose place the light directly above and slightly in front of the subject Subject. Used for glamorous or beauty portraits. Chiaroscuro lighting. Uses strong contrast between light and dark, inspired by Renaissance paintings. Used for adding drama, focus, or mood to your scene. While these techniques are great starting points, don't get caught up in memorizing their names. Focus on the emotion you want to convey. Use your knowledge of the tools and concepts to adapt and experiment. The best lighting often comes from breaking the rules and finding what works for your unique vision.